in uh, 1986, you, you had another partnership with uh, famous trainer Ed Sharkey, and you you ran a big card at the Winnipeg Arena that featured uh, the the uh, very unique character Bulldog Bob Brown versus Bruiser Brody. And I understand through some of the research that Brody was was going to uh, help uh, build that uh, business, but ultimately it, it didn't happen. What what memories do you have of that? particular show and both Bob Brown and uh, Brody? Well, Miss Bob Brown, as you know, he passed away. Same with uh, Frank Brody. Uh, at that time, uh, Mr. Brody says, Tony, if you don't have enough money, I've never met him before in my life, except that time. He says, don't worry about it. Send me a check whenever you can. That's a nice, nice type of guy that he was. Mm -hmm. And then of course, I think it happened in Puerto Rico. That's where he got killed or whatever happened there. I don't know. I heard stories about it, but beside the point, I put a guy And he told me that he was going to J Japan, I believe, after leaving me. And he wanted me to be his partner because he's got a, a collection of uh, wrestling tapes, which he says, uh, they don't have to tape anymore because I'll go, I'll go, I have all kinds of shows. They never made it. <laughs> Mr. Bulldog Bob Brown wrestled him, and Bulldog Bob Brown, Bulldog was the type of a wrestler that, he, old timer, you know what I mean? Not flying around, but, you know, and he passed away too, right? The poor guy. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. Mm -hmm. In, in, 88. I, I, I like to say that Andy Sharkey was one of the best guys I work with. Mm -hmm. Well, his his yeah, legacy as a trainer. A yeah, his legacy as a trainer definitely stands apart. Yeah. So it sounds like Brody was somewhat uh, easy for you to, to work with, which wasn't uh, the prevailing, uh, I, I don't want to call it uh, legacy, but the reputation that he had for being difficult with promoters, you you didn't have that experience. No, I ain't even ask him that question. As Mister Broder says, I come a lot of promoters. They tell me that you don't show up uh, when you're booked. Tony, he said, I never missed one event. He says in my life, what they do is they use my name to draw the crowd. Of course, I wasn't booked. I didn't want to be there. He showed up for me. I never knew the guy from a hole in the ground. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So there you have it. He was a hell. He was a good gentleman. That's all I know. 